Imagine if you could walk through walls, disappear, and reappear at will. Welcome to the world of the fifth dimension. It's a concept that might sound like a science fiction plot, but it's actually rooted in the real study of dimensions. We're all familiar with the three dimensions we live in daily, length, width, and height. They define our physical world. But there's a fourth dimension, time, that lets us move forward and backward, not just left and right, up and down. Now let's kick it up a notch. Imagine a fifth dimension, an unseen realm where countless versions of our world exist, each one playing out different outcomes of our lives. It's a mind-bending concept, isn't it? That's what we're diving into today. So, what might humans look like if they existed in this fifth dimension? Let's explore. To understand how humans might look in the fifth dimension, we first need a grasp on what it is. What is the fifth dimension? It is a concept that extends beyond our familiar three-dimensional space and the elusive fourth dimension of time. It is a theoretical space that is orthogonal, a term meaning at a right angle, to our four-dimensional space-time. It's like trying to imagine a new color that you've never seen before, a mind-bending task indeed. In the realm of physics, the fifth dimension is not just a mere extension of space, but a domain where all possibilities, all realities, and all outcomes exist simultaneously. It's a bit like having an infinite number of books stacked side by side, each book representing a different reality. And the fifth dimension would be the bookshelf holding them all. This concept, though abstract, becomes a bit more tangible when we consider the theory of quantum mechanics. The idea that particles can exist in multiple states at once, until observed, might sound familiar. This is known as superposition. Now imagine that on a grander scale. In the fifth dimension, every decision you made, every path you took, every possibility that could have been, is. But how can we perceive this dimension if we are bound by the constraints of our four-dimensional reality? Well, the truth is, we can't. Not directly, at least. Just like a two-dimensional being cannot perceive the third dimension, we cannot fully comprehend the fifth. It's like trying to view a three-dimensional object on a flat two-dimensional screen. We can get a sense of it, but we never see the full picture. However, this limitation doesn't stop us from exploring the concept through theories and mathematics, giving us a theoretical understanding of this fantastical dimension. Now that we have a basic understanding of the fifth dimension, we can start to imagine what a human might look like within it. Visualizing a five-dimensional human is no easy task, but let's give it a try. Imagine, if you will, a creature that can see not just what is, but what could be, what might be. This is the realm that a five-dimensional human would inhabit. They would not be bound by the constraints of the three-dimensional world we know, nor limited by the single timeline of our four-dimensional universe. Instead, they would exist across multiple possibilities, seeing and experiencing all potential outcomes of their actions concurrently. So, what would such a being look like? Picture a tree, if you will. This tree doesn't have a single trunk, single set of branches, or single set of leaves. Instead, it's a myriad of trunks, branches, and leaves, each representing a different potential reality. This is a crude analogy, but it begins to capture the essence of what a five-dimensional human form might resemble. Each branch of this human form represents a different potential outcome of their actions. When they decide to take a sip of coffee, a new branch forms, representing the reality where they do so. But simultaneously, another branch exists, representing the reality where they choose not to. Each decision, each action, each potential outcome forms a new branch in the five-dimensional human form. This human form, then, is not static like ours. It is dynamic, constantly changing, constantly growing. Each moment brings a new set of possibilities, a new set of branches. It's as if the five-dimensional human is in a constant state of becoming, a state of perpetual evolution and growth. And yet, despite this complexity, this form is not chaotic. Each branch, each potential reality is connected to the others. They are all part of the same whole, the same entity. This is the beauty, the elegance of the five-dimensional form. It represents the infinite complexity of potential realities, yet it remains a single unified entity. But how would these five-dimensional humans interact with their world? A being that exists in five dimensions would experience the world in a way we can barely comprehend. This isn't just a sci-fi trope, it's a thought experiment that pushes the boundaries of our understanding. Imagine, if you will, that you're a five-dimensional being. You're not just walking forward, backward, or sideways. You're not just rising or descending. You're not just traveling through time, you're moving along another axis. One that our three-dimensional brains struggle to visualize. 
This extra dimension could offer a whole new way to navigate our world. Think about walking through a locked door. To us, it's a solid barrier. But to a five-dimensional being, that door might just be a minor detour. They could step into the fifth dimension, bypass the door entirely, and then step back into our familiar three dimensions on the other side. It's not magic, it's just an extra degree of freedom. Now, let's talk about foresight. We humans can predict the future to some extent based on our understanding of cause and effect. But a five-dimensional being could potentially see all possible outcomes of a given situation all at once. Like viewing a branching tree of decisions and their consequences, they could choose the most favorable path with perfect knowledge. Even more astonishing is the possibility of interacting with one's past and future selves. In the fifth dimension, all points in time could exist simultaneously. This means that a five-dimensional being could potentially have a conversation with their past self or even their future self. It's a concept that boggles the mind, but in the realm of the fifth dimension, it could be an everyday occurrence. Such possibilities are mind-boggling, but they reveal just how limited our perception of the universe truly is. We may be confined by our three-dimensional perspective, but contemplating the fifth dimension allows us to step outside our usual frame of reference and ponder the incredible possibilities that lie beyond. A life in five dimensions would be drastically different from our current existence. Imagine a world where the concept of now is as quaint as a horse-drawn carriage. In a five-dimensional existence, we might see time as an open landscape rather than a single unyielding path. We could experience every moment of our lives simultaneously, from the day of our birth to the moment of our death. Every decision, every alternative, every possibility laid out before us in an infinite array. This raises the question, how would our psyche cope with such a reality? Faced with the sheer number of possibilities, would our minds buckle under the weight? Or would we adapt, becoming beings capable of navigating this vast sea of potential realities? Would our decision-making process, so accustomed to the binary of yes and no, right and wrong, be able to handle the multitude of choices available at any given moment? Consider this. In a five-dimensional existence, the concept of cause and effect might no longer apply. If we can see the outcome of every action before we decide to act, the notion of consequence could become irrelevant. Our choices would be driven by a different set of criteria altogether. But what about time? Would we still experience it in a linear fashion, or would it become a terrain to be explored with past, present, and future existing concurrently? Could we revisit our past, or leap into our future, with the same ease as crossing a room? These are just a few of the tantalizing questions that arise when we consider the implications of a five-dimensional existence. And while we may not have the answers, it's the asking of these questions that pushes the boundaries of our understanding, that fuels our curiosity, and drives our exploration into the unknown. 